two, one. So here we are in a barrel and tasting room, and in the barrel, all the baby wines. And again, we talked about wine comes from the grapes and the varietals, which are grown out on the vine. The wine is usually taking about six months to grow on the on the vine. The grape it is that it the grape that is, and the grape will then be harvested, and then we have crush. And once the wine is crushed, uh, yeast is introduced, and then the wonderful thing called fermentation happens. And then wines can either be barreled in oak, like we see in this room, or they can be housed in stainless or even concrete. And that all um, is the difference between the type of wine that is being produced or being made, and also to the uh, to the taste of the winemaker, what they are trying to influence their wine, because of course if you put your wine in stainless, it's going to be crisp and clean influence, or if you put your wine in oak, it's going to have kind of oaky, toasty, smoky influence. So when we talk about uh, the varietals going into the oak, generally um, California is a big proponent of oak, and the Pardon me, some of our best varietals grown here are Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon and are famously housed in oak. And here we also have an example of two different types of wine. We have, uh, just for our purposes here, a white and a red. And just to look at the site uh, to see what we're looking for as our amateur wine drinkers. Um, we want to look at the wine. White wines we don't necessarily need to spin in the glass so much. Uh, what we want to look at is leaving the wine alone so that the aromas can collect in the glass so when we're ready to smell the wine, we have it right there. Because the white wine uh, releases the aromas much more easily than the red. So what we have here in the white wine, we want to take a look at the, the color of the wine. And this can be more easily done by putting um, a white sheet or a napkin behind your glass. And what you're looking for is, is the wine highly reflective? Is it almost sparkly? Does it actually have bubbles? Is it a lighter color? Does it reflect some green? Or does it reflect gold tones? And we roll it gently, and then we'll be ready to smell the wine and see what characteristics we can, we can deduce from that. And with the red wine, Mmm, juicy red berry. We look at the red wine in kind of the same fashion, but we're not afraid to twirl the red wine in the glass. And this gets it to touch the air a little bit more and get the wine to breathe. And so when we get the red wine in the glass, we also want to look, is the wine leaving some stain on the glass? Is the wine uh, dark red or light red around the rim? What kind of colors are actually reflected here? So again, if we have a lighter varietal, we have a lighter color. And if we have a deeper varietal, like Cabernet Sauvignon, we have a deeper color. And this example is a uh, lighter varietal. This is a rosé of Sangiovese. So we can see we have kind of a ruby color to it. Another thing um, we notice are the residual of the wine on the glass. And a lot of people call these legs. Now the legs are an indication of how much alcohol is in the wine. And so if we see large legs running down the glass and they're running fairly quickly down, that's an indication of high alcohol. And if we see short legs or maybe a very thin layer, then that's an indication of light alcohol.